All right, guys, so if you're interested in seeing how I color my braids from this to this, stick around. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Checking out my channel for the very first time. Oh, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And guys, thank you so much for your support. And if you're brand new, welcome to the Natural Yolat family. I'm Yolat. Welcome to my channel. And so don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video with everyone. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell. You will so you'll get notification whenever I post videos. Alright, so today's video is I am going to color my grays while I have on braids. Yes. And so today I plan on coloring my um, my grays, which is like just peeking out through from where it's growing. And I'm using vegan hair coloring, 0.21 ounces, and it's in the color Oriental Black. I have my gloves, and, and I'm using my bowl. I'm letting the water run just a little bit. It needs to be not hot but lukewarm, okay? And it comes with the color. I plan on using the whole thing, maybe. So I think I'm going to use half of the bottle. And then you also have this little, this is kind of like where you actually measure the water depending on how much you're going to use. So I'm going to use half of it. And then depending on how much you add your water. So I've had my water running, measuring it to where exactly I want to put it. And then you're going to mix it. I might need a little bit more water. Yes, it's going to change color. It's not going to stay this color. It's definitely, see, as you can see, the more I stir, the more it's going to change color. I'm going to put a little bit more water. I'm going to put just a little bit of Vaseline around the side of my hair right here. Right here. You don't want to put it on your hair because if you do put it on your hair, the color will not take. Because I've done it before where I've put too much Vaseline on the front side of my hair and the Vaseline does not take. So I'm also putting some of my ears down here because I do plan on putting products, all the areas. I definitely need to put some here, around here. So as you can see, it's already turned. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a small makeup brush. So this little small makeup brush is gonna get to the, to the area where I don't want to get um, color, especially like around this. I'm just going to be using this little tiny small makeup brush to color that area. All right, let's get started. So I'm taking a little bit. I'm going to start right here. And then I'm going to move the braids around a little bit. So, and get in the middle. See it? Take a little bit and then just start covering between the grays. I'm gonna do the front. And then as, you, as you're moving along, you can move the braids around a little bit because you just wanna get inside around your scalp area where the grays are. And that's why this little brush here is perfect because you're not getting gray, you're not getting color all over the hair. Just, just a little area that are turning gray. It's not cute when you have braids and then you have grays. On down the road. I did not put my, my gloves on. What am I, what was I thinking?
Okay, so I'm finished at the front of this side. Make sure you coat every, I know it's tedious, but you know what guys? I mean, this way your hair will last longer. See what I was mentioning earlier about the, uh, the Vaseline around that area? Make sure you cover that area because it does need like an extra coating around the front part, like right here. Like you can see my front area, I have like very thin grays in the front. I wanna make sure they're all covered because I don't want to have to keep doing that again until it's time. Okay, it's this piece. Um, check to make sure each piece is coated. So I am braiding the front part until I'm finished the whole thing. And I'll come back and show you guys um, how it looks. So let me do the back and then I'll come back and let it set. I shall be back. All right guys, so I am done with coloring. So normally you're supposed to keep it on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on how long it takes for the color to take. So here we are. Every piece of hair is coated. I'm going to go ahead and wash it out and once I wash it out I'm going to come and show you guys how it looks and so now the task of washing it out so I will definitely be back I'm going to wash it condition it and then come back and the finish well after I finish washing condition it, I'll be back and then I'll show you guys what else I'll do to finish it. All right, <laughs> don't go away, stay still. Okay guys, so I am done and I'm trying to dry it with this microfiber towel. It is a lot of hair to dry, so here it is. Ooh. It still looks pretty good. I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna use my diffuser to dry the middle. The grays are gone in the front. See that? Yeah, it's a lot of hair, okay. So I'm gonna use the diffuser. guys so I'm halfway done so what I've been doing is using the diffuser and drying it so I'm just taking a towel and just trying to wring out as much water as possible and then dry it with the diffuser and what I've been doing is taking the end of the hair and just putting it around the top and then covering it with a towel to make it dry faster. So what I'm doing is just taking the towel, just wring it out, and just wring out all the water. 
and the, dry, the blow dryer one more time through my hair. So um, I'm gonna try it one more time. So let me get my, the rest of my product to show you what I do to make sure that the hair doesn't get all frizzy. Okay guys, so I got all my products and now I'm about to show you what else I do. Let me get my little comb. My hair is still a little bit damp toward the end, but the scalp is dry. So basically what I do after I dry my hair, I take my, this is the, it's called pomade creole. It's kind of like a grease, but we call it pomade. So what it is, it's just something to put in your scalp. It smells like the thing that my mom used to put on her hair when we were little. So you take it, grease my scalp. If you have the actual casserole oil, you can just pump a little bit, which would make it easier. And then just dab it, it on your scalp. And then just, doesn't smell like the pure, oh, it has rosemary. Okay, I was wondering why it didn't smell like the actual Haitian casserole oil. I could tell the difference. I use it on my hair and um, it's also used as medicine. It smells so good. The rosemary, I was wondering why did it smell like that? So I'm just adding the oil to my scalp. I don't want it to look dry. You could put a little bit of this right here, especially the front, because normally what I do is after I, after I color my hair, I usually do a deep, deep conditioner, but with the braids, you still need to make sure you put products to protect your own hair, because your hair is actually braided along with the synthetic hair. But so here we are. So, and after I do that, styling gel mousse. This is the one from Cream of Nature. And I put a little bit on the hair. This helps keep your hair from, from frizzing up. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to wash my hair. And like I said, I have to, it's gonna be drying throughout the night. And so tomorrow, I'll definitely come by and show you guys how, how it looks. Then what I do is I use Murray's Edge Wax. I put a little bit to lay down the flyaways. Normally I do that um, sometime at night before I go to bed, after I oil my scalp. And then I put a little bit here. Oh, it smells so good. And casual oil smells so good with the rosemary. Let's see what it has rosemary and oh and mint. Mint, methane, rom it has rosemary and mint. I was like, I was wondering what the smell is. And the poma, this is really natural. Oh my gosh. It makes me feel like I was back home sitting under the tree, eating, eating mangoes and running through the fields with not a care in the world or going to the river and, and going swimming with my cousins. Oh, that was the life. You know, like we rush to get older and then when we get older, all we wanna do is like slow it down. So after I do everything, so I take my little um, tie and I take it, I tie it up and then after I tie it up and I put it in my big, big bonnet and then that's it. All right, guys, this is it. This is how I color maintain my braids for as long as possible and yeah 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, how I color my braids and the products that I use so if you're interested in seeing how I actually install some of my my protective style you can check them out I will put my latest one so yeah put the oil when my hair was still damp it took at least about two days for my hair to actually dry all away or so what I did was I left it up in a in a bun and I wrapped it up with my my scarf use my Crayola essence but as you can see it's not that frizzy I love the color and it turned out really well my hair is smelling so good yes I am loving it so let me show you guys how long my braids are here we are look at this it's actually and then let me show you the back see it's kind of like all the way down if you are interested in seeing my braid look don't forget to check out my wherever i put it my instagram page and you can see how long it is oh i'm loving this braid and guys oh Protective style is the way to go. And yes, my hair will be in a protective style and for this whole summer. Yes. Because it's easy. It's it's oh, I'm just loving it. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I do have other videos on how I actually install my own. I don't think I've installed braids. Well, I did install braids last year, but I did not videotape this. This is me loving this braids, and I'm thanking you so much for checking out this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Don't forget to watch the video, and don't forget to subscribe. That's the biggest thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also, YouTube has made some changes to the notification bell. So when you click the notification bell on your laptop, make sure you also click it on your, on your phone, your tablets, whatever you're using, make sure you click that notification bell so you actually will get notification. Because I noticed that I used to get email whenever I subscribe, anybody that I, that I subscribe to their channel, I have not received an email. So don't forget to, to make sure you hit that notification bell on all your mobile um, device. And also share this video. Click click that notification bell and share the video. And join the Natural Your Life family. I'm your life. Thank you so much for checking out this channel. And so it is evening. Good evening. It may be morning where you are. Good morning. And it may be afternoon where you are. Good afternoon and guys have a beautiful talking about a beautiful and blessed evening morning afternoon and guys always 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 be blessed peace